Assalamualaikum. I am Naimur Rahman from Rashtriya Medical College Dental Unit, Season 1920. Wish you a warm welcome to Exist Dental School. Today I am going to discuss about some topic related with denture-based materials. So let's start. At first, we'll discuss about polymer. So what is polymer? In this word, polymer, we have two segments. Number one is polymer, and another one is sorry number one is poly and another one is mer so the meaning of poly is equal to many and the meaning of mer is equal to structural unit so when the number of mer is only one that is called monomer so what is monomer basically from which polymer constructed and various number of combined and it it creates the polymer Like polymethyl methacrylate is a polymer which is constructed from methyl methacrylate monomer and its molecular weight is more than 500. Now come to the copolymer. What is copolymer? Copolymer is mixture of different type of monomer. In polymer, we have the mixture of same type of monomer, but in copolymer, we have the mixture of different type of monomer like this one monomer 1 monomer 2 monomer 3 various kind of monomer okay now come physical properties of polymer this is not so tough very easy okay so the physical properties is molecular weight of polymer equal to molecular weight of various monomer into the number of monomers simple now come to the polymerization define polymerization you have short notes about that so what is polymerization series of chain reaction by which polymer is formed from the monomer and I'm, I'm telling again series of chain reaction by which polymer is formed from the monomer polymerization has two types number one is condensation polymer and number two is addition polymer so come to the condensation polymer condensation polymer is always associated with elimination of small molecules functional groups are repeated to form the polymer chain the small molecules which are eliminated are also called the byproducts so some of the byproducts are water halogen acid ammonia let's come to the addition polymerization so in addition polymerization there is no change in chemical compositions so no byproducts are formed the structure of monomers are repeated many times in polymer like this picture in denture based materials we most commonly use the acrylic resins acrylic resins used in dentistry are of five types number one heat cured acrylic resin microwave polymerizing acrylic resin self cured acrylic resin rubber modified acrylic resin and the last one is hydroxyethyl methacrylate modified acrylic resin so heat cured acrylic resins are the most commonly used materials in dentistry so now come to the composition of heat cured acrylic resin chemically it is methyl methacrylate which is the result of reaction between methyl alcohol and meth acrylic acid methyl methacrylate can exist in two forms number one is liquid known as monomer and number two is solid known as polymer and the change from monomer to polymer is known as polymerization so here comes the composition of monomer monomer is a colorless transparent liquid and consists of methyl methacrylate to make the material stable and to increase its shelf life some stabilizers or inhibitors are therefore added in the monomer about 0.006% hydroquinone or parallel as a stabilizer or inhibitor this substance is antioxidant that is it prevents oxidation Okay, so polymerizing monomer are also added to improve the quality to have proper resulting mix with polymer to have an ultimate plasticity in the material. 
the monomer of the styrene, vinyl acetate and the dimethyl acetate are usually added in addition to inhibitors. Now come to the properties of monomer. At room temperature, it is colorless. It has a melting point of minus 48 degrees centigrade, boiling point of 100.8 degrees centigrade, density of 0.945 gram per ml at 20 degrees centigrade at a molecular weight of 100. It is an organic solvent. Monomer is also highly inflammable and so uh, sorry there is a mistake there is a written flammable but it is not flammable it is inflammable and so should not be used round the open flame it should also be kept in a dark colored bottle so that it is protected from ultraviolet ray which polymerizes it it is also skin irritant and lacrimator Let's have some knowledge about composition of polymer. Polymer consists of particles of polymerized methyl methacrylate which varies in shape, size and form according to method of manufacture. It also consists of catalyst, plasticizer and pigments of coloring agents. It has a molecular weight of 3500 to 5000. Its specific gravity is 1.19. It is chemically stable to heat. It will soften at 125 degrees centigrade and can be molded as thermoplastic material. The shape of the polymer particles vary in two forms. Number one is spherical particles. These are spherical in shape and are produced by heating monomer which is finally dispersed into the water. And another one is granular particle. Granular particles are produced by polymerizing monomer into solid block and then grinding and milling it into small particles. Usually, the two spherical and granular particles are mixed in some proportion to control the mixing time of polymer. Properties of polymer A process of polymerization starts when the liquid comes in contact with the powder. Monomer starts dissolving powder particles and the polymer becomes soft. Due to above change, the mix passes through a series of consistency as sandy, stringy, duffy, leathery, and hard. So let's have some knowledge about the properties of heat cured acrylic resin. The heat cured acrylic resin have various properties. This is actually a little bit huge topics. Okay, I will introduce it one by one. So at first, the molecular weight. Okay, so the molecular weight of polymer is from 5 lakh to 1 million as supplied by the manufacturers. But in the literature, it is said to be from 35,000 to 36,000. In monomer, the molecular weight of monomer is 100. In cured acrylic, the molecular weight of the cured polymer is up to 1.2 million. A greater molecular weight of the cured polymer, a thick denture base usually imparts good strength. Number two is residual monomer. The monomer which is left unchanged after proper curing. The amount of residual monomer is about 0.2 to 0.5%. It is to be avoided for the following reasons. Number one, the unactivated free monomer may be released from the denture and irritate the oral tissues. Number two, it will act as a plasticizer and will make the denture weaker and more flexible. Now come to the number three properties and that is porosity. Porosity is the defect of polymerization that results in a porous structure of the cured acrylic. It may have under undesirable effects of the strain and aesthetic properties of the acrylic. Porosity in acrylic resin are of three types. Number one, contraction or shrinkage porosity. 
It appears as irregular voids all over and of the surface of the tincture. Number two, gaseous porosity. It appears as, light, as fine uniform bubbles in thicker sections of the denture remote from the source of external heat, palatal region of upper denture and lingual flints of lower denture. Number three is granularity porosity. It appears as rough and discolored areas in thin surface and at the periphery of denture base. Number four is water absorption. For each 1% increase in weight of the acrylic resin for water absorption, there is a linear expansion of 0.23% in the dimension of the denture. Number five is water loss. Drying out of the material is associated with loss of water with resultant shrinkage in dimension. Number six is crazing. It is the appearance of cracks on the surface of the acrylic resin. Crazing may be resulted from stress, stresses due to repeated drying and wetting of the denture. Like mechanical stresses produced on repeated drying and wetting of the denture cause alternate contraction of expansion leading to crazing. Number two, stresses due to difference of coefficient of thermal expansion. Difference in coefficient of thermal expansion between porcelain teeth or other inserts like clasps and the acrylic denture base may produce mechanical stresses that may give rise to cracks around the inserts. And number three, solvent absorption of monomer. During repair of denture, some monomer comes in contact with the resin and may cause crazing. Number seven is dimensional accuracy. It is difficult to get dimensional accuracy in acrylic resins unless properly manipulated. So the following factors must be taken into consideration. Number one is mold expansion. This is achieved by packaging excess material in the mold and keeping the floss under the pressure of a spring clump. Number two, thermal expansion of the acrylic dough. During curing, there is thermal expansion of the acrylic dough which might result in dimensional inaccuracy and this is prevented by maintaining adequate mold pressure by the spring clump. Number three is polymerization shrinkage. There is about 7% shrinkage of the acrylic dough by volume during polymerization. It is prevented by packaging excess material in the mold. And number four, thermal shrinkage on cooling. After curing, when the flask is cooled from a temperature of 75 degrees centigrade to 20 degrees centigrade, there is about 0.44% of shrinkage. This may be a cause of palatal warpage in upper dentures. To reduce the stresses within the polymer and to prevent possible warpage, the cured acrylic is to be cooled slowly and not suddenly. Number five, excess heat generation during polishing. This will cause warpage due to release of stresses within acrylic resin and so it should be prevented. Number eight is dimensional stability. Acrylic resin are not dimensionally stable. This is related to water absorption as discussed before and relief of internal stresses while the denture is in service. This effect is probably not so marked and is of no clinical importance. Number three is cold flow. It is a property of acrylic resins to flow under stresses of mastication when it is being used for a long time. The ninth properties of heat cured acrylic resin is fracture. Acrylic resins may fracture, it is due to an impact, for example, if the denture is dropped on a hard surface as the impact strength of acrylic resin is not adequate or low. Number two is fatigue. From repeated bending of denture in service as the acrylic does not have adequate fatigue strength. And the last but not the least properties of heat cured acrylic is radiolucency. So it is simple, acrylic resins are radiolucent, not radio-opaque. 
So that's all for the time being. Thanks for being stay with me till the end of the video. Hope this pandemic situation will become overcome soon and the earth become like the before. So till then, stay home and develop new skills. Thank you so much.